Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at a beautiful add-on known as Node Preview. Node Preview is an add-on that is made available by Simon and just in case you would like to preview your nodes before you even try to hit the render button, then this might just be the best tool that you can take a look at. Link is going to be in the description just in case you want to check it. And with that said, let's talk a little bit about the creator. So there is a little thing you need to know about this creator and you can find it down here. I think it's more like a resume for him and it's the fact that he is a creator of the Blend Lux Core. So just in case you're wondering about the Lux Core renderer and you're wondering about the Blend Lux Core, the whole support for that, then this is the same creator that made that add-on and he has this one right here. You might want to also go over to his page and check out some of the other things that he has. But with this said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at the node preview. So the node preview is a very simple and easy to use you know, add-on. All you need to do once you have it downloaded is to go over to edit, go over to preference and install it. Now once you install it, just simply switch over to your shader editor and what this does is it's basic all right it's very very simple it will save you time especially if you don't have a super gpu to continually hit the render button and preview whatever material you're working on this would come in handy so in this case let's say you're trying to add more like a Voronoi. so let's say we want to add a Voronoi texture you don't need to plug this to you know test it out go over to EV your cycles to check it out, you can simply preview what you're doing here. And the minute we choose to plug this directly into the base color, you can notice what we have right here. So we, what we have here, we have a very simple plane. So let's say we would like to apply materials to this, you know, want to preview this before we apply that or before we hit the render button. What we can do is uh, pretty easy. So for this, even if we throw in a mix, you know, a mix RGB, we can use that. And of course, we can also choose to do some more stuff. I could go in and say I would want to get a noise. So let's uh, take a look at that noise thingy. So we can get a noise texture and I can connect the noise texture here to what we have going on there. We can set this to 2D, set this to how many Ds that you want. We can do all of that. And we can also choose to simply get a checker. So I'm just going to get a checker right here. So with this checker, we can do some more stuff. I can say Maybe I would like this to be entirely red so we can have that mixture and I can now use this and connect over to the factor to drive what we have going on here. So you can see even without you applying this, you can already tell what you have going on there. So we can also get something like this, maybe make it a little bit darker and right over here we can choose to reduce the scale. We can play with the roughness to put that there, we can play with the distortion all these things you can do all right so you can actually work with all these things and get even very good results with it and you can literally preview this that is just the best part about it so you can preview it you don't need to go over here to render that you don't all of that stuff you don't need to do. all right so you can preview see what the final look is going to be like before you even render it this might save you some memory might save you some time and you can actually get the most out of it and it's not only for you know what you have here in case you're also thinking about running some other stuff so let's say you would like to drive some other patterns and stuff with the same stuff that you have here so in this case we can also say that we would want to throw in a displacement so we can throw in a simple displacement all right so we can say we want to throw in a displacement and we can connect the displacement right there bring this right over here and we can even do some more stuff okay so we can get all these things and i would like to also throw in that veroni so let's get that veroni texture connect this veroni texture here drive this displacement right over to this point and with this scale we can punch this however we want we can also play with the randomness and get something like so okay so we can also scale this how we want and in this case we could also go all the way back and reconnect what we have here as the color right over to this part and take this one out so you can already start seeing some very beautiful and lovely stuff going on there so we can connect these things like so and maybe we can also use the same distance as what we have here as the fraction and this way we can start getting some very nice looking stuff this is what you're going to get okay so this is what you're going to get and you can even tell before hitting the render button it just makes a lot of sense so we can hit that render button right now and you can already start seeing what we're getting one quick tip for those who probably don't know if you're working with displacement let's say we make this a subdivision of two 
and we or subdivision of three and apply that if you're working with displacement and you don't see your displacement you know after you're done adding all of this it is probably because of this all right it's probably because you know you have this if you go over to where you have your materials scroll all the way down to where you have settings and down here within settings change the bump only within this displacement to displacement and bump that way you'll be able to see your displacement especially for those that are new to blender this is uh this is something you should keep in mind okay so this is more like it for those who would like to take a look at this maybe you're into shading you probably think this is a very good add-on that you can work with you can simply go over to the link in the description and take a look at the node preview as this add-on actually helps you render thumbnails for your shader nodes and you know basically all the notes that you find within your shader or your shading editor so this is more like it for those who like to get the blend lock score i'm also going to put that link in the description so you can do well to check it out and of course if you also would want to check out any other thing that he has on his page link to that is also going to be in the description so do well to check it out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace